Morning, church. This is a time like no other in the history of the world. And, and we are faced with issues and challenges that are changing the way that we do things. Society will never be the same again. However, one thing has never changed. No matter how society has changed, God has remained the same. He was the same yesterday as He is today, and He will be the same during lockdown, which starts tomorrow night. I have some thoughts I'd like to share with you as we prepare for lockdown. The psalmist says in Psalm 46 that God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. As we put our trust in God's unfailing love, fear melts away. We're not in the same trouble that the world is in. We have our hope set on Christ who loves us and died for us. There's no need for panic, no reason to be stressed about going into lockdown because our future is set if our faith is in Him. We should not be a part of the panic buying and, and the frantic antics that are going on around us. We cannot be involved in fake news and spreading rumors. We, as salt and light, are to bring calm into the situation as we trust in Him. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, you know, the scripture from Psalm 46 just reminds me so much of Mark chapter 4. Jesus had spent the day on the shores of the lake speaking to crowds of people. And as it started to get dark, he said to the disciples, let us go to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him and a furious squall came up. And, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. The disciples were in the middle of the waters that were now roaring and foaming, even as Jesus slept peacefully in the back of the boat. And so in panic, they woke him up. Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. And the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to the disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Friends, I wonder what the disciples thought Jesus would do when they woke him up. Perhaps sharing their panic. You know, misery loves company, doesn't it? But they got so much more than they bargained for as he stood up and, and spoke to the wind and the waves and calm descended upon the waters. <laughs> not, not so much in their minds though. You see, at first they were afraid. Now they were terrified. Who is this Jesus? Well, we know who he is. He is the one God sent to save the world, not to condemn it. And, and Peter says, Though you have not seen Him, you love Him. And even though you do not see Him now, you believe in Him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. And that, friends, is why even though the nations are in uproar right now and kingdoms may fall because of this worldwide pandemic, even though the coming weeks will be challenging and maybe even difficult as we, as we settle into this new reality that is life in South Africa. We can do as He says and be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Please let me pray for you this morning. Father, you are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. It seems that we're in some trouble today, Lord, as this virus is causing panic and death in the world around us. 
We are preparing to do as the government has ordered, Lord, and go into lockdown. We do so, Lord, not out of fear, because you are with us, but in obedience and, and using the sound minds you have given us. Lord, I pray for your presence in our homes, that the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard our hearts and minds in the coming days. I pray for your protection over those who must go out, Lord, and work to make sure that we still have food, medicine, and necessities. I pray for our country, Lord. And in this difficult time, Lord, that we will draw near to you. Please be with our president and our leaders. Grant them wisdom as they make the decisions they need to make for the good of the people, Lord. For each home represented by those listening to this prayer, I ask for your abundant blessings to rain down. Lord, that our families may be drawn to you, that we would, Lord, come near to you, and that out of all of this, your name would be lifted up, and you will be exalted. We pray in the wonderful, powerful, precious name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Just a couple of announcements to, to close off with. Tonight, there will be family communion held at the church for those who would like to come. It will be between 6 and and 8 p.m. We'll be closing the church down completely. All ministries will be closed. Um, all events will be postponed or cancelled for the interim um, and we will keep you informed as to when and how they will be um, reinstated as this lockdown is removed. As we go into lockdown, as you go into this time together with your families, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face radiate with joy because of you, and may He grant you His peace as you live in Him and through Him, today, tomorrow, and so forever in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen.